Am I live? How is that even possible? Am I live? That was the weirdest thing ever. Um, that was weird as hell. <laughs> so uh, before, like it, it says going live, going live, you're live. And I had eight people in here <laughs> already. So somehow you guys beat me to the punch. You guys were already in here. How the hell is that possible? That's so freaking weird. Um, is my audio good? <laughs> that was the weirdest thing ever. There was three people. So MCT Dog was in here. Montgomery Designs was in here. Ed, uh, is it UD, was in here. Before I even went live. I, was there a waiting room or something? That's weird. There's 33 people already in here. 13 thumbs up. Hey, what's up, guys? So notifications. But I didn't even create the video yet. So that's weird as hell. Anyway, hey. If I'm here, camera's working, light's working, mic's working. Dude, Edge was always my favorite wrestler and I'm still in disbelief he's back. How did you feel watching an Edge match again? It was freaking awesome. It was a long match. Uh, it was very long, but I liked it a lot. So we can talk about some WrestleMania. For those of you that are wrestling fans, we'll probably leave that to the end. Um, I I got one thing. So this was, this was the one thing that I had uh, received that I was going to basically show you in the live. by the way how's everyone doing happy monday hopefully you had a good weekend hopefully you stayed inside hopefully you stayed uh healthy and well but um yeah this was the only thing i was going to show you and i was going to open it up put it in the old x-wing down there and literally bef right before i was gonna go on here the damn doorbell rang willie the dog went fucking ape shiz and uh, I got a package. And this is from Duncanville Bookstore, participating in one of their online sales. So uh, honestly, I remember two of the things that are in here, but I don't remember everything that's in here. So I'm kind of excited to open this. I was not expecting to get anything else today. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, but let me take a look at the comments real quick. The hat, this is a, uh, BJ said hat. So I'm assuming you're asking what hat this is. This is from an NHL All-Star game, 20, I think it was 18. I went down to Tampa, Florida. My buddy lives, in, or lived in Tampa. He lives in, uh, he lived, P-Dog is FaceTiming someone right now. Uh, anyway, what was I freaking saying? I went down to Tampa. I had a buddy that lived down there. He lives in uh, Jersey now, but um, we went to the All-Star game. And that was my, I think that was my third All-Star game. But I freaking love the NHL All-Star Game. I heard, for anyone in here that's a hockey fan, any of the 63 people that are in here right now, um, I heard or I read a little thing that they might bring back the NHL season when it gets a little less dangerous. But they might play the games in, I think it's is it Grand Forks, North Dakota? Because North Dakota statewide has very, very few cases of the Rona. So I heard that they're thinking about playing the games there in a stadium to no fans. So we'll all be able to watch it um, on TV. But I'm really excited to read that news. So hopefully they go through with that because I really miss hockey. Uh, it was really nice to uh, watch WrestleMania. Honestly, I'm going to just throw in some wrestling comments here and there. Honestly. I freaking want them to go two days from now on. That was so nice. I freaking love the two day, was it three hours per day format? Uh, it ended at like 10 p.m. my time. So as soon as it ended, I went downstairs and uh, watched some Ozark with uh, Mrs. Cincy. But I really, really love that format. And I want them to keep that. I know it was just kind of a, uh, because of what's going on right now that they went with that format. This is intense packaging. So it went from box to bubble wrap to cardboard to a pop, like big bag, like uh, what is this called? I don't know. Set bag? Something like that. Anyway, so I watched WrestleMania both nights. And then um, we are going to finish season three of Ozark tonight. I'm really excited. Such a good show. Holy crap, that's a good show. Anyone that is uh, not watching Ozark, start from the beginning. Jason Bateman fantastic actor that dude is so underrated 
That guy deserves an award for his acting in this series. He's fantastic in it. Fantastic in it. Wish I could talk today. I'm just looking at the the uh, the treasures that I have here. So let me show you what I got. <clears throat> I'm so freaking excited for these. I've been on a uh, kick on these online sales with like 80s comics, specifically comics that I bought when I was a kid that I lost through the years and I kind of want to reacquire. Uh, BJ says, when are you going to buy MLB The Show 20 on your PS4 so I can whoop you with my Tigers? Honestly, dude, I have about 10 games between PS4 and Xbox One. Make that like 15 games. And I literally play one game. Anytime I turn on my damn PS4, it's always NHL. I'm playing NHL. I'm playing season. I'm playing playoffs, hypothetical playoffs. I'm playing freaking Chell with my little create a player guy. Um, so yeah, I mean, it. I, I buy all these games. I have Spider Man. I have freaking Battlefield. I have shooters. I'm spitting out part of my cinnamon bun that I had for lunch right now. Uh, but all I play literally is NHL. I wish I. I wish I had the time and motivation to play my other games. MCT Dog said, I watched Brightburn last night. Did anyone else like it? I still have not seen that. I still need to see that. Liz, same official. Dude, you will not be prepared for the ending of Ozark. Your mind will be blown. Uh, the second to last episode was pretty... Uh, her brother... Uh, so um, I forgot his name. Ben, the brother of... Um, and I forgot her name, the main, Laura Lenny, the main, one of the main characters on that show. He was such a great actor on that. The, the brother, he was uh, like bipolar. Um, man, he, he put in a freaking performance. That show's so good. So um, it's about organized crime, uh, about a family trying to survive in a world of organized crime is the best way I can describe Ozark. Jason Bateman, fantastic. All right, enough gushing about that show. Anyway, going back, WrestleMania should be two days from now on. Please, I love it. Because a six-hour show, it's, it's been like six. It, they continuously get longer and longer. And the like previous years have been like six, seven hours. It's too damn long, too damn long. And I don't even remember uh, all of the matches by the end of the damn show. So breaking it into two days and you load it up with like multiple main events. Basically, they had like four main events. Uh, between the two days, there were some really, really good show. There were some really good matches and um, pre-taped movie style segments is, is what I'll call them. The Firefly Funhouse, one of the most creative things I've ever seen in wrestling. Just entertaining, very entertaining. Anyway, here's what I got. So I picked up this one right here. This is X-Men 213. I'm getting a super glare right there. Um, it has $15 on there and I paid 15% off of that. So it was like, what, 12 bucks or something for a, a really, really nice clean copy of X-Men 213. This is a, there's a good shot of it right there. Wolverine versus Sabretooth. One of the first times that I can remember that they squared off. Was this the first time? I know they fought in 212. Someone let me know. Did Wolverine and Sabretooth square off before 212 and 213, Mutant Massacre? Alan Davis, beautiful comic book. There's how Psylocke used to look before she turned into a uh, Quanin ninja Psylocke. But I got that one. I got this one right here. This is, uh, I want to complete the first 10 issues of the Wolverine title from, I think it came out in 88. Uh, was when this one came out. This is issue six, and I got it for 15% off of five bucks. So I'm not good at math. You guys do the math. I got it for a good price. But yes, John Buscema, Wolverine, freaking nostalgia right there. I remember buying this comic book with my uh, my allowance that I would save up from lawn lawn mowing money. I remember buying a lot of these comic books off the spinner racks. Um, I remember buying this one off the spinner rack. This is a Todd McFarlane Amazing Spider-Man issue with the lizard. Look at that cover. This is issue 313. 
I got this one for uh, like $8.50. Very nice, super clean copy. Direct edition. I never saw that little uh, Spider-Man thing there because I was always seeing like the UPC because I would buy most of my comic books from a combination of stores, a record store that was near me uh, in McLean, Virginia, where I grew up. A Safeway, uh, for those that don't know, Safeway in the frozen food aisle. First, it started in the frozen food aisle. They had spinner racks. There was two comic book spinner racks. I would buy my. Com I bought a lot of Amazing Spider Mans at, at Safeway, and then they moved the spinner racks. I was like, one day I came to the frozen food section. I was like, where the frick are my spinner racks? They weren't there. They had moved them to like the book aisle, the book and magazine aisle. So Safeway used to carry comic books. 7-Eleven. Those are like my three stops because I would ride my bike and or walk. I, I would uh, ride my bike into town, stop at Safeway. I'd get like a Hostess fruit pie or a Hostess pudding pie. Um, I would get some fruit snacks, maybe some waffle cereal. <laughs> and then in, uh, other times when my buddy was with me, with me we'd go to 7-Eleven. I talked about this in the last live stream. We'd uh, get like pizza, play some video games, leave with some comic books, some garbage pail kids. I forgot to mention those. I bought like all the first, I think it was like the first four or five series of Garbage Pail Kids when they first came out in Wax Packs. Uh, I was uh, big into those. Um, and then here is another Marvel comic book that I picked up. And this is this is one uh, that came out before I even started collecting uh, X-Men comic books. But when I got, basically I would load up on like current issues. And then when I got my license in like, uh, was that 91? I got my license. I would drive all around the Washington DC area to all the different comic book stores, uh, hole in the wall comic books, fantasy five and dime, another world. There was one in crystal city, like Arlington area that I used to go to Jolly Roger. I worked at Jolly Rogers comics. If anyone's from the Arlington area, um, where else did I go? So Franklin farm comic books. That was the one my mom used to take me to. And she dropped me off for a couple hours. Franklin farm. I love that. It was right in the middle of a neighborhood. Anyway, as I, Freaking start getting nostalgic here. This is one of the ones that I would see on the wall at that comic book store in like Alexandria, Virginia. This is Uncanny X Men number 128. Again, I was uh, not collecting comic books when this came out. I think this might be early 80s and or late 70s. I can't tell because there's a little red sticker over the the year there. But Uncanny 128. Look at that cover. Got some Jean Grey as Phoenix. Got some Cyclops. Nightcrawler, Colossus, Tiger Stripe, Wolvie. Is that Moira McTaggart there? Uh, Polaris in the background. Is that Banshee with the uh, turtleneck sweater? And then you got Storm there as well. Just awesome. I miss these, the little floating heads. Um, because what they were doing there for a while is when you would go to the spinner rack at the store, and you would, that was the first thing you'd see. You'd see the cover, and then you'd see these heads. And a lot of times you'd look at the heads and you'd be like, here's who is in this issue. They would have literally the heads of the characters that were in the issue. So I freaking loved that. Uh, and then I picked up some uh, Batman comic books. This was before I started like heavy collecting Batman. I think I started with, was it Batman 400? I started with that because I think there was an Arthur Adams illustrated story in that. And then I, I um, was collecting during the death of Jason Todd. Uh, Death in the Family. But this one is called uh, Batman 10 Nights of the Beast. And I got all four issues. Uh, let's see when this is from. Hold on, let me show you these. So there's the cover. 10 Nights of the Beast. Jim Aparo, who was the uh, artist during Death in the Family. So this came out in... Uh, where's the freaking date? 1980. There's no way. 1981. 87. I was looking at the wrong date. 1987. Ten Nights of the Beast. Jim Aparo art is beautiful art. Let me see if I can find a cool like splash page or something to show you the art. You know what I also like about these old comic books? Old advertisements. Sega Master System. I got the Sega Master System with OutRun. And what was that chopper game? Choplifter. I remember that. I got that for Christmas one year. The Sega Master, the first Sega Space Harrier. Freaking loved that game. But uh, old ads. I freaking love these old ads. Here's the one on the back. 
Arkanoid, elevator action. That's so freaking cool. 87, 1987. But um, 10 Nights of the Beast. So I think this one is where he fights KG Beast. That's the whole storyline is KG Beast versus Batman. So there's that one. Oh, and then we've got this one right here. There's another cover. This part two. There's KG Beast. Part three. And then the last one is... I remember this cover distinctly. Such an awesome cover. Look at that cover. That's so freaking cool. I love it. Um, oh, I remember this game. This one right here. Xanak? Xanax? <laughs> I think it was called Xanak. But, uh, and then Lunar Pool. Just cool ads. So there's the comic book haul. I just got that box in from Duncanville. Really happy with that. They do uh, live sales on their Facebook page. Um, I think they're going live. Is it Monday, Tuesday, and Friday? I forgot the days. Just check out their Facebook page, and uh, you can participate, and they ship it to you. So, 108 people on here, 28 thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for being here. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day so far. Um, but let me show you this one right here, right after I look at some comments. Uh, follow your dreams. Since he was a stud in high school, I was not a stud. I was not popular at all in high school. I, uh, I was into a sport that our school didn't even have, so I had to play it elsewhere. Uh, my best friend didn't even go to my school. Um, I worked anywhere from two to three jobs at any given time between 15 to 18. So I was not into extracurriculars. I didn't go to football games. I never went to a prom. I never went to my homecoming dance. Um, I was into comic books. I was into action figures. Uh, the coolest job I ever worked when I was a teenager, I worked in a wine store. So I discovered my affinity for, for beer and wine. Um, I worked in a comic book store in high school. I worked in a shoe store. That sucked ass. That was just the worst job uh, because I, the guy that that ran the shoe store, I won't I won't name drop the shoe store because I don't know. Uh, I don't want to. I don't think they're still in business. But uh, dude would uh, make me clean the toilets and stuff right after he took a dump. <laughs> it was so gross. It was the worst job. It was so gross. Anyway, yeah. High school wasn't the best time for me. I, I think my my favorite time as a, a kid in school was like from kindergarten to sixth grade. That was when I had like the most friends and stuff. And then most like 98% of my friends in elementary went to a different middle school. So I knew no one going into middle school. And then uh, from there on out, I was just like, I kept to myself. I maybe had like five friends total in high school. Uh, but anyway. I'm doing great now. And I got this R2-D2 figure. But let me go ahead and take a look at these comments. Um, let's see. Start at the top. Audio is clear. Thank you, Nighter Friend. You commented that a while ago, probably. MCT Dog, what city, state, or country y'all from? I'm from Texas. Texas. Dallas, Texas. Grew up in Washington, D.C., though. Lived in Florida for a while. Lived in Ohio for a while. Moved down to Texas, moved back to Ohio, moved back to Texas. And uh, I want to eventually, I've already scoped out my next place to live. I'll tell you about that real quick. I want to probably retire uh, in a suburb of Raleigh, North Carolina. Is anyone in here in the chat from Raleigh, North Carolina or Durham or the Triangle area? Done a lot of research. Really, really like that area. I want to live in a uh, suburb called Cary. It's a small town called Cary, North Carolina. But I want to live there, close proximity to the beaches, um, proximity to where I grew up in D.C., uh, great place to raise a family. The place that I want to live is like four miles from where the Carolina Hurricanes play, so I'll be close to NHL action. Uh, that's where I want to uh, eventually live. Um, I haven't shared that with anyone. The only person that knows that is Mrs. Cincy because I sprung that on her. I'm like, hey, I want to live in North Carolina eventually. So there you go. I don't know when it's going to happen, but eventually I will be there. Originally, I wanted to retire in Destin, Florida, but that place is built up so much and it's gotten so commercialized. I kind of want to not 
retire in Florida. Still love visiting it, but I don't want to retire there. <clears throat> What's up, uh, Michael Swineford? Nor'easter afternoon to you. Uh, Bentleyville Entertainment, dude, Edge was always my... Oh, I read that one already. Lord Luigi's here. Hopefully you'll bail me out when I brain fart because that's bound to happen during this thing. Uh, we're 20 minutes in. I got 40 minutes left. Uh, I wasn't going to do a live stream today. I was going to just say, hey, dudes, uh, I'm going to see you guys either Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever because I didn't have anything to share. But then I remembered, you know what? WrestleMania just happened. People might want to talk about that. I have this guy to show you. I'm going to show you how it looks in the X-Wing, which I have right down there. And then these comics came in, and uh, that gave me something to show you guys. What do you think of the MCU shakeup? What do you think of... I haven't heard of the MCU shakeup. What happened with the MCU? All I know is that uh, they moved Black Widow to, was it November? August? or I think November. Uh, but what's the shakeup? What's going on? Let me know in the comments. And then I'll respond to that because I haven't heard anything. Uh, the only thing I, I saw, Campia said that Captain Marvel 2 is going to go against, what was the movie it's going against? I saw his title on his live stream, but Shazam? Was that it? The Randy Orton edge match was long and boring coming from two greats. I didn't think it was that boring. I thought that it was long, but uh, they kept it entertaining. They kept it interesting. You were kind of wondering. I got caught looking in the background of that match, <laughs> looking at the performance center. We already saw, and I thought it was cool. If you watch NXT, Champa and Gargano already brawled throughout the performance center. So I wanted to kind of, when, when Edge and Orton were going through it, I'm like, Hey, remember that location from Champa and Gargano? Hey, remember that? Hey, they fixed that window. Hey, they fixed that mirror. I was getting caught up in that. So uh, let's see here. Knight of Rent says, I got 3.75 vintage collection Lando and Skiff Guard disguised today. Very cool. I have 3.75 Cara Dune coming in this week. Um, let's see. I uh, ordered some freaking WWE Elite figures this week, and holy cow. So I got three ultimates on the way. I got um, Rousey, Nakamura, and Demon Balor. I have five elites coming. I got them all um, for kind of cheap prices, like 15 bucks. I got Miz, um, Cena, the newest Cena with the JBL hair, Strowman, um, Jeff Hardy, and I don't remember who the fifth one is, but I got five there. And then I'm about to pre-order. It's literally on the screen here. The Fiend, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre-order that one. It's due in late June. It was early June. Now it's late June. And then the Edgeheads, three in one. Um, that's coming in early August. So looking forward to that one. I don't know if I'm going to get three of those. I might just get one. I'm not sure. It would be kind of cool to display three of them, have Edge um, and then the Major Brothers, Ryder and uh, Hawkins behind him. Uh, let's see. Jumped over from watching can't be a Gronk 24 seven champ. Ah, uh, Gronk. Um, TM Hunter 49 says, what's up? Angeliki says, what's up? What's your dog's name? His name is Willie. His full name is Will Wheaton. For those that know, Wesley Crusher and also from Big Bang Theory. We're Mrs. Cincy and I love Big Bang Theory and we loved whenever Will Wheaton was on there because he was just very dry and his sense of humor is good. So, and we're getting, we have a Wheaton Terrier. That's his breed, Wheaton, soft coated Wheaton Terrier. So it made sense where Will, where Will Wheaton fans, where Big Bang Theory fans call the dog Will Wheaton. So that's his full name. But we call him Willie. Uh, the girls call him Willie Billy. Good morning, handsome. Thank you, Wicked Hunter. Good morning to you as well. Hello from Vegas. We're safe out here. Very good. Stay inside. He said, Rona. Case of the Rona. I miss NBA basketball. I miss NHL hockey. I miss um, baseball too. Opening day. When are you going to buy? Oh, I already read that one. Um, he was good in game night. Jason Bateman is good in everything. He's He has the most sarcastic and funny dry sense of humor I've ever seen in a human being. And, and even though Ozark season three deals with some very, very dark stuff, uh, just very dark stuff, he still manages to make me laugh with his delivery of some of his dry lines. Specifically talking to, if you've seen the season, talking to his, uh, his uh, marriage therapist right after she made a purchase. His lines to talking to her were so freaking funny. 
I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, that made me laugh really loud. Uh, let's see. Let's see. NHL 94 was a good game. Hell yeah, the NHL games on PS4 are awesome. Cinnamon bun and Pepsi for lunch, sweet combo. Yeah, I had a, a very small cinnamon bun and my Diet Pepsi. I also had uh, some peanut butter toast. Uh, Narc's here. What's up, Narc? Let's see here. X-Men 213. All right, so I'm catching up on these comments here. I'm going to... Hey, Cincy, how are you all doing with the isolating? I just received the Black Series Count Dooku. What do you make of the figure? Black Series are killing it now. DTM collectibles. I have only seen video of the uh, Black Series Count Dooku, and I saw a video, and I forgot who it was that was comparing. Was it the Foosh? Where someone was comparing uh, the Black Series Dooku with the SHF, and the Black Series looked better. So... Hasbro starting to close the gap on the imports. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time before they close the gap and their figures look just as good as imports. Obviously, they're not going to have the articulation. They might if they start stepping up articulation. But for 20 bucks versus $80 for aesthetically uh, a, as good or better looking figure, I'm probably going to go Hasbro. Uh, what's up, Syndicate? Christian Arias says, Uncharted, The Last of Us, and Switch Animal Crossing. Um, I know a lot of people that are playing Animal Crossing right now. I never, I've never, i never played that game before. Uh, Dreadnoughts for Life says, I think Wolverine number 10 is their first fight. Um, no, that came out in... Because that uh, Uncanny 213 came out in like the uh, early 80s like 85 or 86, I think. So I think that might be the first time they fought because uh, Wolverine 10 came out in 80, 88. So that was the first time they fought in the Wolverine series. But I think Uncanny 212 or 213 is the first time uh, Sabretooth and Wolverine fought. Do you have white hens in your area? Those were my spinner racks growing up. Um, I've never heard of white hens. Is that a store? King Dingling said that um, Safeway was the store that had um, a grocery store that had all the comic books that I used to go to and stuff. Uh, let's see. Hey, Cincy. Hey, guys, do you want me to still post the 90s trading card sets like last week? Let me know if yes. Michael Taylor, those are awesome. Yeah, I, I collected heavy Marvel Universe. Um, and um, what was the other one? The nicer one that was on the glossy card stock. I collected the crap out of those cards, and uh, honestly, the pictures you've posted really brought back a lot of memories, especially the one where it's like, are they, are they, is it the danger room or they're fighting a sentinel, where it's like almost like a puzzle, and the nine cards make the picture. Those are really freaking cool. All right, so let me go ahead and open this up. Did you guys see Ezra Miller is in trouble, might get fired from DC? What did he do now? I'm going to have to catch up on these comments because you guys are posting some stuff here. Uh, Salacious Crumb said, hey, since I'm stuck teleworking for now, too, does your job require you to clock in and clock out somehow? Mine doesn't. No, I've been working remote for 16 years, so um, I don't clock in or clock out. I We have like a, a call in the morning at 745 in the morning just to, to kind of check in. And then um, I'm doing my thing till 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sometimes. I'm working uh, late sometimes if I have um, a video project that I'm working on. By the way, I'm just desecrating this card right now <laughs> if i'm uh so yeah it's you're basically on the honor system when you work for from home for 16 years and i've gotten if i don't work if i don't work the full day i'm not getting my project done so here's the card here's r2d2 kind of a just a generic looking picture here's the card back some of the other figures in this wave do i need any others in this wave I think I'm good on this wave. I think I got every the, all the ones that I wanted. But here is this little R2-D2. Uh, for some reason, he was $20 on Amazon. I didn't buy him on Amazon. I got him on Hasbro Pulse for $12.99. Let's see if I can not get the glare and show you this figure. Nope. Just going to have the glare there. So there's R2-D2. Pop him out. Take a look at him. We will uh, put him in the X-Wing. That's the main reason I got this figure no accessories or anything, is to put him in the X-Wing. And this is just like all the other vintage collection R2s. Head spins. I don't think there's anything that opens up on him or anything. Uh, legs move to and fro. And then you pop this 
I think you pop the middle. Yeah. You pull the middle leg out and then he's like that. So uh, he's got little tiny wheels on the bottom, which you can't see because of my freaking glare. But I assure you, he has wheels on the bottom of his feet. Um, and then this one, if you can see it, has just kind of like some scoring on it, some dirt, some grime, some space grime on him. But let me go ahead and pop him in to this magnificent, beautiful X-Wing. Friggin' love this thing. I've been looking at this thing a lot since I got it. I have it usually up on that flight stand where my finger's pointing right there, but I took him down to show you this. And he's usually with the... Uh, the wings spread, but uh, I have them in kind of landing position right now. But let me go ahead and pop them in. You will not be able to see, oh, you can see it. There is actually some uh, some molding, some, some sculpt work in that little crevice where the Astromech sits. And there's like little grooves that kind of match up with their feet. They didn't have to do that. They didn't have to give us that level of detail on the inside there. It could have just been like completely smooth plastic, but Hasbro went the extra mile of doing that, and I appreciate that. And look at that. Bam! Freaking awesome. This is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. Is this look right there? That's amazing. I freaking love this thing. If you can find this X Wing on sale, if you have room in your collection for vehicles, I would advise you to pick this up because I think it is absolutely beautiful. This is uh, amazing. Let me pop the landing gear back in. Get ready for, look at that. And I have the little, uh, the little flight computer thing. Targeting, whatever the frick that's called, targeting computer extended. Right before he's like, hell nah, I'm gonna use the frickin' force. I don't need no computer. There it is. All right, so let me go ahead and put this thing down. That was fun. I do have some figures that are on the way. I couldn't tell you which ones they were right now because I freaking forgot. But I do have some stuff that hopefully we'll get here this week that I can show you on these live streams. Uh, but let me go ahead and check out these comments. MCT dog, does your employer know you as Cincy Nerd, a YouTube influencer? Uh, as far as I know, only two people at my company know about this, know about my hobby, uh, doing the online thing. Um, but I've I've tried to keep it a secret, just because I don't know. Um, so yeah, only only a couple people know, as far as I know. Montgomery Designs, I mean, there could probably be like 20 people watching this right now from my office, and they're just not telling me that they know about this, but I don't know. There's 135 people on here. 51 thumbs up, by the way. Thank you for that. Uh, since you're going to be picking up any Empire 40th anniversary figures, 100% on the Bespin Luke. Are there any others that I really want? Maybe the Lando, but 100% on the Bespin Luke. I want that figure a lot. Bespin Luke is my favorite look of Luke Skywalker in all the movies, so... What's my favorite droid from Star Wars? Big uh, David Big Dog Raimi said that. General Grievous is my favorite droid. Is he considered a droid or is he a cyborg? Um, K2SO, I like him too. Uh, and then IG, uh, IG-11 from Mandalorian. Uh, lock S foils in attack position. Hell yes. Do any... Oh, I already read that one. Uh, you're absolutely right, Amateur Toy Hunter. Do you know the first season of True Detective? Awesome. Yeah, the first season of True Detective was excellent. Uh, was it Woody Harrelson and um, uh, Matthew McConaughey? I forgot who was in the first season. Um, but like the seasons after that weren't as good. I haven't seen season three. Season two was not, the Colin Farrell season was not as good, in my opinion. By the way, what actually is your day job? You edit videos. Yeah, I make corporate videos. Corporate training videos, promotional videos, commercials, videos that you see in stores, uh, which I can't tell you what kind of stores they are because that will give away uh, what I do. But um, yeah, I make videos. I'm usually the person in, in front of the camera and then I do all the editing and post-production as well. Like a one-stop shop for videos for, for corporate. 
Probably, let's see. Ren and Stimpy coming from Super 7, so cool. You know what I ordered? I bought a lot of stuff this weekend. I <laughs> I treated myself a little bit. I bought some uh, Sectars figures, the Zika Toys Sectars figures. I got uh, Dargon. I got uh, Spydrax, and then I got the dude with the beard, and I can't remember his name. But I got those. Um, what else did I buy this weekend? I bought a bunch of stuff. So, yes. Um, I freaking forgot what everything else that I bought this weekend. But a few things from Big Bad. Oh, I pre-ordered the um, one of the Valkyries. Um, Roy Fokker, you pothead Fokker. I got his uh, Veritech, his Valkyrie from Robotech, the one with the skull and crossbones. I got, I pre-ordered that one. I'm excited for that one. Um, here, let's just take a look. How about that? So I can not just sit here with a confused look on my face and I can actually tell you what I pre-ordered this weekend or what I ordered. Order history. There we go. Mantor is the other... Uh, Sectars figure that I ordered. I pre-ordered the new Joes, the six-inch Joes. Is that everything? Shipments. Do I have anything on the way? I'm on Big Bad right now, by the way. Okay, so just the Sectars right now. Um, I don't remember what else I bought. Conan stuff. Did you pre-order the new Conan stuff from Super 7 Star? Chris says, no, I ordered the Mezco Conan because I, I think that that looks like he was pulled right from the freaking comic book. I know the uh, the Super 7 stuff is more so from like movie. Uh, so like uh, Arnold, James Earl Jones, that look. But I really liked that Mezco one. Um Let's see here. Been wanting to ask you my favorite superhero movie still to date is Spider-Man 2. I literally watched Spider-Man 2 on TV this weekend and it's so good. And I forgot how good those Sam Raimi Spider-Man, at least the first two, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies were. The other thing I watched, which was really good, was Days of Future Past. And I forgot how good that was. And then Batman Begins. And I forgot how good that was. We've had a lot of comic book movies and a lot of times... I just remember MCU because that's the stuff that has just come out recently. But then I think back all the stuff that came out before then. Uh, first class, X-Men first class. That was really good. The whole Magneto part where, you know, he's hunting down all the, the people that wronged him. That was really cool. Um, hope things are good. Thanks for the videos. Things are good. I, I had a slight scare this weekend. I was working on a video, which you'll see on the YouTube channel. It's a different video. It is not a toy collecting video. It's a whisper challenge video. And um, I saw Mike the Hunter did it. And I was it was so funny. And um, me and the family watched his video. And we liked it so much. We're like, let's do one ourselves. So me and Mrs. Cincy and the girls did a whisper challenge video this weekend. And I... Um, I edited two different versions and I saved one of the versions and I was uploading one of the versions and my computer crashed. And then my hard drive, which I had the file on, would not connect to my MacBook. So I freaked out big time. Uh, I looked up some ways to try and recover the data and I eventually, using disk utility on Mac, found a way to remount it and to recognize it. So thankfully, my hard drive is back. That hard drive has all of my work projects from like the last eight months. So I did not want to lose that. Um, but anyway, what I was getting at is that was a scare this weekend that happened. My car is still broken. They found out uh, that there's uh, something with the engines. The cams are loose and I have to take that in. And hopefully they can just tighten the cams and the engine and it'll because there's a rattle in my engine now. Um, so my car's broken. My hard drive crashed. I fixed that. Mrs. Cincy's computer took a gigantic dump on her. So she had to actually run to the uh, her office today. I told her, wear a mask, wear some gloves. You're going to be around people. Don't expose yourself. Expose yourself. Uh, don't, uh, don't risk it. But uh, she had to get a new computer. So hopefully she's back on her way back here. Uh, I completely lost my train of thought and forgot what I was originally talking about. But yeah. So yeah, I had some things going on this past weekend, but thankfully most of them have worked themselves out. Car's still broken though. 
car is messed up. I got to take it into uh, the dealership. I'm happy Mike the Hunter's back. I am too. I, I love his videos. They're really, um, they're entertaining. They're very engaging. So I, I am glad he's making videos again. Super 7 has one from the comic book. Mezco Conan is from the books. The books, like the uh, the book books, novels. Did you get the Jushin Thunder Liger figure? Yeah, he's right over there. By the way, for the guy that says I never wear a Montreal Canadiens jersey, bam, Brandon Gallagher, I wore it for you. You literally asked me to wear this thing like four or five live casts in a row, so I'm wearing it for you. Here's Jushin, Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, Storm Collectibles, looking great, looking excellent. I uh, hope Storm Collectibles makes more wrestling figures. I know that they had done some Hulk Hogan figures. There's Butterfly Joint in this thing. I don't know if you guys watched my video where I kind of went over this thing, but Butterfly Joint, lots of great articulation. A little waist joint action there. A little double joint and knee action right there. Awesome figure. And I had the pleasure of seeing this guy perform live. And uh, like I said, it was like watching Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Sting uh, perform. Jush and Thunder. He's a freaking, he's literally a superhero. Um, but just an awesome, awesome figure. I love this Storm Collectibles figure. And I need more Storm Collectibles wrestling figures. If I get like the uh, Boss Fight Studios Lucha Brothers, I'll probably pose those guys on a shelf with this one. If I get like um, the Hulk Hogan from Storm, I'll probably do that. Who else is making a – someone else is – oh, the uh, New Japan. Who's making the New Japan? Is that Boss Fight? I forgot who's making those. But um, they're doing like a Will Ospreay. They're doing the – I forgot who, who else they're doing. Someone let me know in the comments if if you're into New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, let's see. Let's see. My freaking neck is sore. I've been doing a lot of crunches and stuff, core stuff, and I do sit-ups and I hold my head like that, and I think I'm straining my neck from doing it, so my neck is always like real sore. Great Muda. Hell yes. That would be freaking awesome. Uh, John Bunny said, I would love it if Storm Collectibles did a great Muda. I would definitely buy that. Um, Super 7. Is Super 7 the one that's doing the uh, New Japan figures? Here, let's just go ahead and find out. Super 7. One of the benefits of having a laptop right in front of me. No, I don't want the Super 7 freaking hotel. I'm not going to stay there. It's only 2.8 stars. 2.5 stars in Southwest Dallas. I want... That right there. And there it is. Holy frick. There's a close up picture of. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I had a streaming program where I could just show you my desktop. I need to find out. I think Streamlabs does that where I can just, instead of you seeing me right now, you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. But uh, there's a close up of uh, some of the Thundercats figures on there when you first go to the site. I'm really tempted to get into the um, reaction figures because they've done some really, really freaking cool reaction figures. Um, there's Transformers reaction figures now, and they look so damn good on the card art and stuff. There's Skyfire, Grimlock, the Insecticon, Shrapnel. Um, they have their own kind of like characters called the Worst, which are very, very awesome as well. These reaction figures, I mean, they do freaking baseball mascots, Beavis and Butthead. I'm really – does anyone collect those? I know a few guys that collect those, but uh, does anyone in here collect the reaction figures? And if so, do you like them? And if so, do you take them off card or do you display them on card? I kind of wouldn't want to take them off card because they're only like five points of articulation. So I'd probably want to keep them on card if I had them because the card art is beautiful on these. Why did I go here in the first place? Oh, to look at the wrestling figures. So categories. Let's go with sports. See if it's under sports. Apparently not. It's all baseball there. How the frick do I find those? <laughs> Let's go with uh, products. And it's not. Why can I not find this? 
I know this is really exciting for you guys right now to watch me be confused on the internet because I can't find the damn freaking thing I'm looking for. <sighs> I'm not going to find it. I'm thinking of buying the Rocky reaction figures. Six inch articulated figs all day. Um, let's see. I am staying safe. Yeah. Um, we started wearing, we like to go on uh, family walks at the end of the day after the work day. We started wearing masks outside. Um, even though we were staying more than six feet away from people on our little walking trail, we're not going to chance it. So we're wearing masks and uh, stuff. Super tempting, Narc says. Um, oh, the uh, reaction figures? Do that pose again. What pose? Um, you talk about the BOGO. Oh, yeah. So THE Universe, uh, I haven't talked about that. Yeah, there's a uh, WWE shop.com has a buy one, get one for a dollar uh, t-shirt sale right now. And then like a percentage off on title belts. I bought two t-shirts this weekend. I got uh, both WrestleMania t-shirts. One is the AJ versus Undertaker um, shirt where it's like a rectangle and it's got a big tombstone and AJ's hands doing that, uh, which is kind of a spoiler of what happened in the match. And then I also got the uh, Kevin Owens shirt. Uh, the one that has uh, two pictures of his face right there. So I got those two shirts. Since he is, yeah, I did see that Mysterio. So Mega X Studios, did I see the Mysterio? Yeah, it's a, a redo of the uh, original Mysterio that came out. And I can't remember which wave that was in that it came out. But it looks like they changed it up a little bit. The, um, the little effects that go by his feet are a different color. Um, but it looks great. If you didn't get the Mysterio the first time, it's definitely a great time to pick it up. Art G says, the last t-shirt I have from wrestling is an old Batista t-shirt. Um, I've bought a few shirts recently. I bought the Edge shirt. because uh, Masks masks are hard to come by around here in Illinois. Yeah, the wife, uh, Miss Cincy, made them. Um, she made them. She's good at sewing and stuff. So she bought like elastic material and made them out of like I think old sheets or old pillowcases. So, um, but they're like double ply. So they'll keep us safe. Even if someone like freaking coughed in our face. Out. We're still social distancing though. So we're anytime there's someone on the trail, we're like getting way the frick over or we'll just like get off the, in the grass for them to walk by. Lizard wave from Mysterio. Thank you, Knight of Ren. Lizard Wave. So Lord Luigi and Knight of Ren bailed me out during my brain fart. Lord Lizard Wave is what that Mysterio figure, the original one, was in. Yeah, they're more expensive too. Thundercats here at 45 bucks. I don't I don't think demand will be that high, so we'll see if it goes down. Are you a fussball fan? I don't know what fussball is. What is that? Okay, okay so John Bunyi apparently found what I was looking for on this damn Super 7 site, which can't freaking find it in their little uh, menu thing here. John Bunny says Okada, Ishii, Tanahashi, and Will Ospreay is wave one from Super 7. So those will look pretty damn cool with Juice and Thunder Liger on a shelf. Well, I might have gotten a package. There's someone at our front door right now. And the dog is not barking, so they must have just dropped it off. So I might have gotten a package. So there you go. Hopefully it's something cool. I have a ring doorbell, so... It like literally tells me when there's someone at the front door. Uh, are you worried or stressed about COVID-19 situation? If so, what is your main concern? Um, I'm not worried or stressed. I know that this will uh, flatten. Um, I don't think people will really, I personally, when this all first started, when like, like in early March, when they were just quarantining cruise ships off the coast, I didn't think there was a problem. So, but I, and, and then when they started, Mrs. Sensi must be back. Um, I wasn't, I don't think a lot of people took it seriously when they started saying social distancing. I think I even made a joke about social distancing, the term, but like um, we soon realized how serious we need to take it. So I'm not worried. I think people are finally taking it seriously. If you're not taking it seriously, I don't know what the hell it will take for you to take <laughs> this seriously. Um, but um, I think the, the curve will flatten. We'll be back to normal. Hopefully sooner than later. The dog's freaking out now. And then um, hopefully we can start going to some cons next year. That's what I'm really excited for is getting back to normal life, 
going to conventions. Um, <laughs> uh, going to movie theaters. High-fiving people. Sports. That would be nice. Dog's freaking out. This dog is a basket case. Anyway, we got 10 minutes left, guys. Uh, a lot of people out of work. That does suck. That's probably one of the worst things. Besides people getting sick and dying, obviously, uh, one of the worst things is people being out of jobs. That just is the worst. That sucks. Being worried about bills and stuff. I've been thankful enough to have a job that I've literally worked remotely for a decade and a half. So my job continues on even if I don't have a workplace or not. Um, and our company converted to all remote. So our entire workforce is now working remote, but I can certainly see how people are worried, scared, wondering how they're going to make ends meet. If they're out of work right now, it, it sucks. And I absolutely feel for everyone that is out of a job right now. <clears throat> um, Type in Super 7 and New Japan Wrestling and the page will pop up, Cincy. Thank you, John. <laughs> I'll, uh, Barca is cool. And Bayern and Barca had an AC friendship. We're literally in the end game now. Uh, check out high spots. Like I said, some good autograph stuff. Kane, Foley, and Scott Hall, elites all autographed. Even grabbed the elite Kamala. Amateur Toy Hunter says... Chris Bliss, heck of a collection. Where do you get the display cases and what do they cost? Those are all Detolves. I do need another one. I'm actually thinking about moving my arcade machines. I have two one-up machines. I would like to get another one. There's another one that's on sale for 200 bucks right now. It's got 1943 and a couple other games on it, which I can't remember. I'm brain farting. So someone bail me out there. European football, Cincy. Okay. Um, I was thinking about moving an arcade machine right there and then one over here off camera. And moving my arcade into this room because I think we're going to convert that area that the arcade is in into a new mini nerd bar. So an actual bar with like a fridge and a countertop and a sink and all that stuff. So um, so they might move in here. And then this will be my freaking super room with all my figures, my comics, my arcade games. The only thing I'm missing is a, a big ass TV and like my PS4 and Xbox One. Let's see. THG uh, Universe, thank you for joining. He's uh, got to go check back later to catch up. Um, take care. Be safe. My mom is at least working at home, but my dad was told to stay home. Mega X Studios. Um, let's see. Am I caught up on comments? I think I am. Is the house you're in your forever home? Derek Tengleo asked. Tengleo. Or is it Tenglao? Uh, this is not our forever home. Um, earlier on, I said that I wanted to eventually move to the Raleigh, North Carolina area. And I missed if anyone said that they're from that area. But I, I want to move to that area, uh, specifically Cary, North Carolina. I've done a ton of research um, on the area, online at least. But um, that's where I want to live eventually. I'm working uh, in a detached drive through for a financial institution, BJ said. What do you think about WrestleMania last night and Saturday night, Cincy? I friggin' I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was great entertainment. I love the two-day format. I love that it was two three-hour shows. I love that it wasn't a very, very overly long six-hour long broadcast. I hope they stick with the two three-hour shows forever <laughs> with WrestleMania. I thought it was done so well. But uh, the only problem with that is um, if, if there's a live audience, then you literally have to buy a ticket for both nights. So that could be an issue with uh, doing WrestleMania live. For, I thought she was going to come in here for uh, for two days. But I loved the two-day format. There's all kinds of stuff going on out there. Cary is a nice town. Actually, nice area. Darth Clueless. Uh, Darth Clueless, are you from North Carolina? What is your least favorite figure you own? Uh, usually uh, I get rid of... If, if I buy a figure and I just don't like it, I'll just put it aside and have it in like a trade or sell pile. So there's not a whole lot of figures in my collection currently that I just don't like. Um, that would actually take some time for me to think about because most, most if not all the stuff in my collection right now, I really love. Take care, Star Chris. He's uh, leaving right now. 
130 people strong. 69, baby. 69, dudes. Thumbs up. Atlanta, but have fam in the area. Very cool, Dark Lewis. My friend used to live in Cary, North Carolina. It's really nice and growing like crazy, Jim Flanagan says. Watching you on my phone while my one-year-old son is watching Return of the Jedi in my lap. His favorite movie. Very cool. Um, how do you sell hot toys? Uh, either I, I did a big sale one time on my Facebook page. I sold them that way. Or I'll take them into a store that gives me a, a decent deal on them. Um, and I'll trade them in or sell them there. I sold a lot of stuff to comics, to games. And then I currently, I sell a lot of stuff to uh, Dallas Vintage Toys, sell or trade. Um, they're good to me there. So that's that's usually what I do with Hot Toys that I've, um, I'm not in love with anymore or I need, I want to sell to make money to purchase a new Hot Toy that I want. Uh, what do you think of DC McFarlane Wave 2? Honestly, I could not tell you who's in Wave 2 right now. I don't remember. Let me know who's in Wave 2 and I'll let you know. And if it jogs my memory, I'll, I'll let you know what I think. What was your favorite match from WrestleMania? Mine was the Boneyard match, Undertaker versus AJ. So I liked – I really liked the, uh, the second half of the Rollins-Kevin Owens match where it turned into a no disqualification match. I really did like Edge versus Orton, although it was a little long. I really liked that match. I loved the Undertaker versus AJ Styles movie style match. It wasn't a match, really. It was more so, how do I even explain it? Uh, a short film? A short movie? The Firehouse, Fire, Firehouse, Firefly Funhouse match. Freaking entertaining. And so many like inside things in there. Um, when I was doing my little uh, on Facebook, I did a, a post and I was commenting throughout the, the show. And I said, did this just turn into a shoot? Uh, because they were basically talking about Cena being a bully and doing whatever it takes to make him look good and make other people look bad. And that's, that's a lot of the criticism of him backstage is he buried a lot of people. So, um, there was just a lot of layers to the Firefly Funhouse match. Um, if you dig deep beyond the surface and really like listen to what they're saying, um, uh, the, the one where they, um, Cena came out and like was, uh, NWO, uh, that was basically trying to say that Cena is like Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, how Cena went to Hollywood. And, um, it was just a, it was a lot to think about on that one. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, Vin Dallas Vintage or Comics to Games? Patrick Butcher says, um, I love both stores. I love I love the guys that work there. They're fantastic dudes. Uh, Mike and Tess from Comics to Games. I freaking miss the hell out of that store. I miss the toy department. Um, one of these trips, once stuff goes back to normal, one of these trips back up to Ohio for work, I'm actually going to fly, hopefully, into Cincinnati and hit all my old spots and then drive up to Columbus. But um, I love them both. I'm in a wrestling draft that starts today. You can draft any wrestler ever. I got two minutes left. And make a fantasy card. So much fun. Last year, I did Jericho versus Gargano, Pillman versus Page, indecent proposal match. That sounds like fun. Arkham, Batman, and Joker, the two Wonder Woman from the movie. Oh, okay, wave two. Okay. John Bunny bailed me out from my brain fart. Uh, I'm uh, not as interested in the Arkham uh, figures, but the Wonder Woman, specifically the one where she's in the gold outfit for, with the wings, that's a 100% purchase for me. That thing looks amazing. Uh, so that I'm definitely going to pick that up. I might pick up the regular Wonder Woman from the movie too, depending on how it looks when I get it in my hand at a store. Um, is Mrs. Cincy working at home? She is. Yeah. We're all working from home. I'm working from home. Miss Cincy is back from getting a new computer. She's working at home. The girls are doing online learning from home. So we're all here at home. War games with beer money versus heart legacy versus midnight express versus undisputed. <laughs> the new wonder woman, 1984. Okay. So Jordan Freeman, uh, thank you for reminding me of Wave 2. What do you think about The Rock saying his rivalry with Stone Cold being the best of all time? 
I agree that was the best, at least for me. Probably the best rivalry uh, with Stone Cold and Rock. The new toy department store is awesome. Jim Flanagan says, I can't wait to go there. I can't wait to check it out. It looks huge. Uh, David Big Dog Ramey, see you later. This uh, was a great live stream since you. Thank you, David. I can't wait for that Asriel to come out. Yeah, this turned into something, even though I had one figure to start this stream. Got the package with the comics in it, so that was fun. But uh, it is an hour, so I do have to get back to work. I want to thank you all for being here. 129 strong, 76 thumbs up. Thank you, guy for thank you guys for hanging out with me, guys and gals for hanging out with me. Um, John Bunny, take care. I can't wait for that Asriel to come out. Mike Hare says, "What wave is Asriel in?" Have a great day. Habs jersey looks great on. Great colors. Thank you for live stream. Cheers. Amateur Toy Hunter says, Brendan Gallagher. Uh, hopefully we see some hockey soon from freaking North Dakota. Cincy, see you Wednesday. Stay safe. Bye, Cincy. Stay safe. All right, I'm going to sign off, guys. Adios for now. Watch Raw tonight. Hopefully it'll be good. Um, and then watch WrestleMania if you didn't get a chance. It was very entertaining. But And then watch Ozark. Start from season one, episode one. It's a damn good show. I'm not sure what we're going to watch next. Give me some suggestions in the comments. What, what should we watch next in the comments after Ozark is done? Uh, but adios for now.